Welcome back. Bluegrass Battles Hunger is a two-day concert event to support Second Harvest Community Food Bank. This year marks the 12th annual year for the event, and joining us is Rebecca Thacker of the 2021 Chair. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, how are you? Doing Hello. well. So tell us about this event. It's going to be held on Friday, September 24th and the 25th. Tell us all the details so that we can know where to go and if we needed to get tickets, where to go. Well, the wonderful thing about this event is that it's a free event. It is a family oriented event. Um, we do ask that people bring some canned goods or cast a cash donation because it is a benefit for Second Harvest Community Food Bank. Um, bring a lawn chair, a blanket, and just find a, find a nice place to sit during the event. On Friday, the event starts at 6 o'clock and it goes to about 9.30. We have three acts that evening. Um, on Saturday, it starts at 1.30 with an old-time community jam. So if you have an instrument and you want to sit down with some of the musicians and play some bluegrass and jam for a while, it's a great opportunity to do that. After that is St. Joseph Arts Academy. Um, they always put on a really great show, really showcasing the talent we have in St. Joseph. And then after that, we have another, I believe, four bands um, that, that follow that. And our headliners, the Match Sellers, they're out of Kansas City. They are um, a real crowd pleaser. So I, I think it'll be a really, really nice event. Um, we also have Harley Davidson. They're going to have their merchandise trailer and on Friday, Bubba's Barbecue, and Saturday, the Enchilada Lady, and both nights we're going to have the um, Saks Ice Cream Truck. That's so exciting. I, I think it's just going to be a great event. I think so too. This is all at Coleman Hawkins Park at Felix right. Street Square in downtown St. Joseph. Kristen Hamilton is a friend of the show and so okay. she's going to be playing with her band which will be fun. Yes. You know one of the best things, one of my favorite memories is my little girl playing her ukulele down there at the jam. It's just such a good time. Ukuleles are such a big thing right now. If you have kids and you want to have them bring their ukulele down to the jam session, that is always welcome and I know it's a fun time. It really is, and it's truly a family-friendly event um, because at the jam, like you said, we want everybody to participate with the musicians. Um, also, with COVID going on, we're only going to be having our outdoor activities. We will have face masks and sanitizer for free if people want them, and we're encouraging social distancing. So we want this to be a fun but safe event for everyone. Rebecca Thacker, thanks for being with us today. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Okay, we're going to take a break and we'll be back.